we're here at New Frontiers and I think this is a perfect opportunity to get some top tips for um, entrepreneurs working out of Wellington and how they can um, grow their companies and yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Great. Um, so I have experience uh, growing several businesses of my own, uh, investing in several companies. Um, I tend to invest in SaaS platforms and, uh, and advise them. Um, I guess my observations are when you're starting a business uh, as an entrepreneur, and you're focused on innovation and growing your business, sometimes it's easy to get a little too myopic or a little bit too focused on just the thing that you're good at. And I think that if you're going to be successful growing and scaling a business, there are a few things, uh, in my opinion, that you should never completely delegate. Uh, I'd say the first thing is probably leadership. Um, you always want to be the one with the vision, uh, telling the story, telling the story of how you got to where you are and telling the story of how you're going to get to where you're going, um, helping your team and your customers understand the events that are happening in the world, interpreting them for them so that they all make sense and particularly make sense um, in relationship to what you're trying to create for them. So never totally delegate you know, leadership and visioning. And I think it's a good idea to study the leadership and kind of management geniuses out there. Study people like Warren Bennis and W. Edwards Deming and Peter Drucker and go back and read some of those books um, and get the foundations. Um, another thing I think you should never completely delegate is marketing. Um, marketing, you know, however you think about that, whether you're doing direct marketing or branding or whether you're just doing uh, you know, kind of referral based marketing uh, or trying to get your customers to be your advocates. Um, also go back and study the greats, study the people that think about branding, study people like Al Reese and Jack Trout, study the experts in direct marketing, you know, read the classics like David Ogilvy, David Ogilvy's books and so forth. Um, I also think that um, recruiting and hiring is an area you should never completely delegate. You want to be the one that's always you know, attracting that uh, next level of top talent. Um, Steve Jobs reportedly, you know, all the way through growing his companies, um, invested a lot of time personally recruiting those superstars. Um, go back, study Brad Smart, read the book Top Grading, and, you know, really learn a lot about uh, recruiting. Yeah, yeah. And how do you think um, uh, the entrepreneurs and leaders of these companies can balance all of that? You know, when they're driving their company forward and, you know, these key three things that they need to hold on to. Yeah. Um, how, do they, how do they manage that? What are your tips? I'd recommend coffee. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of that in our community. <laughs> I used to drink a lot of coffee when I was growing businesses. Um, yeah, uh, balance. You know, growing a business is uh, it's kind of like juggling, you know, where you've heard like plate spinning. Yeah. Um, where you do something for a while and you get that part and then all of a sudden there's a, a constraint or a bottleneck or an opportunity and you're kind of this uh, i mean in growth mode you have to be very opportunistic i guess i mean that in the positive sense you're always looking for the areas of your business where a small little change can create you know a very magnified or you know geometric growth effect um, I don't think that there's a way, you know, I can't say, okay, put 10% of your time into hiring and 10% of your time into market because, you know, you'll, you'll come into a phase. I mean, if you're a one person business and, you know, it's like, just get your product done and get that into the hands of your customers so you can get some feedback. You know, if you're a five person business, it could be, if you just hire that next amazing developer, that could be the, you know, quantum leap. Um, or if you just can get a great designer on your team, like that's going to, you know, change everything. Or if you can just, you know, get another distribution channel. So you're always looking, you're, uh, you're kind of a, um, you know, a growth opportunist mm. looking for that place in the business where you can, you know, put that attention, that all precious, all powerful attention to get the most growth. Mm. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time and enjoy the rest of New Frontiers. Mm.